हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर ऑनलाइन क्लास स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर थर्टीन चेंजेस फिजिकल एंड केमिकल पार्ट टू लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैड स्टडीड इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड स्टडीड अबाउट नेचुरल एंड मैनमेड चेंजेस यूजफुल एंड हार्मफुल चेंजेस फास्ट एंड स्लो चेंजेस Let's start. What is reversible and irreversible changes? Reversible and irreversible changes. Melting some wax and obtaining the original solid wax again is something that we can do repeatedly. The changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called reversible changes. A ripe mango, however, cannot be transferred back into a raw mango. Wood cannot be obtained from ash formed on burning the wood. The changes that can occur in a forward and reverse direction repeatedly again and again are called reversible changes, and the changes that can never occur back in a reverse direction again are called irreversible changes. Example: boiling of water, melting of ice, blowing of balloon, and folding of paper. Irreversible changes. the changes in which we cannot again get back the original substances are called irreversible changes example cutting of a paper bursting of a balloon making of chapati and formation of curd from milk we find that some changes occur again and again after a definite interval of time such changes are called periodic changes on the other hand it cannot be said for sure when certain changes certain changes will reoccur after one occurrence even they reoccur the time interval is not fixed such changes are called non periodic changes so periodic changes are the changes that occur again and again after a definite interval of time and non periodic changes are the changes in which the time interval is not fixed the changes can occur any time or will not occur at all The process of formation of paper from a liquid is called evaporation. Drying of clothes, formation of salt from sea water are possible due to evaporation. We have studied some processes that are a part of the water cycle. Which are this process? Do the original properties of the water changes during those process? Previously, we had learned about the process of dissolving, boiling, melting. They are all example of physical changes. The process of dissolving, boiling, melting, freezing, etc., occur when the state of matter changes. Water taken in a bowl and heated start evaporating, and its vapor is formed. Without the change in basic characteristic, then it is called as a physical change. Physical change does not form a substance with the new properties. Example: process of dissolving, boiling, and melting, etc. chemical changes the changes in which the properties of substance change and form entirely a new substance is called chemical change chemical changes a change in a matter that forms a new substance with a different properties chemical changes cannot be reversed you know it is a chemical change when it cannot go back sign of a chemical change gas form heat is given off or absorbed a solid forms or disappear difference between physical and chemical change chemical change not easily reversed physical change easily reversible new product is formed no new product is formed reactant used up often heat light sound freezing occurs often just a state changes electricity may be produced example wood burning and physical change ice melting physical change a change in which the chemical composition of a substance does not change no new substances are made example size shape changes phase change that is melting boiling and dissolving periodic change changes which repeat themselves are called as a periodic changes day and night phases of the moon beating of a heart clock striking again and hour are the example of periodic changes so the changes occur again and again after a definite interval of time 
such changes are called as a periodic changes on the other hand it cannot be said for sure when certain changes will recur after after one occurrence even if they recur the time interval is not fixed such changes are called as a non periodic changes changes which do not occur regular interval of time are called as a non periodic changes for example eruption of volcanoes earthquake forest fire etc are non periodic changes what process occur during the change of state of matter the process of dissolving boiling melting freezing etc occur when the state of matter changes corrosion when an iron article rust a reddish brown layer form on it a greenish layer is seen to form on a copper article this process is called corrosion of metals things become weak due to corrosion corrosion is caused by oxygen moisture vapor or chemicals in the air Zinc and galvanization. A thin coat of zinc is given on the iron articles to prevent corrosion. This is called galvanization. A thin coat of tin is given on copper and brass article to prevent rusting. This is called as a tinning. In this age of technology, a new process called powder coating has been developed. Coats of various colors are applied on metals like iron and aluminium. They prevent corrosion of the metal. So we had completed our lesson number thirteen: changes physical and chemical. Thank you.